Hi there, this is Mrinal once again and welcome to our TT video cast. In today's video, we will find out 5 less known features of Android that you are probably not aware of. So without any further ado, let's get started. Tip number 1. Try paid apps for free. Although most Android apps on Google Play are free, there are still few apps that cost money. But before we go ahead and make a purchase, we will have to make sure that these paid apps worth every single penny. So how do we do that? Well, Google offers a refund policies, according to which after purchasing an app or a game from Google Play, you can return it within 2 hours for a full refund. But there are some strings attached to the refund policies. For instance, customer can only claim a refund on the same app once. And of course, you can't refund an app after 2 hours. While testing, I found the refund process quite simple. To return a paid app, go to your Play Store and open My Apps. From there, locate the app that you have recently purchased and tap on the refund button. And that's it. The app will be uninstalled and your money will be reverted back to the source. In most cases, 2 hours is sufficient enough to decide whether you want to keep an app or return it. But let's say you need more time. In some cases, you can even return an app within 48 hours by contacting the developer directly. And it goes without saying that these policies can change without any prior notice. So make sure you always read the latest Google Play refund policies before trying a paid app. Tip number 2. The mystery behind power keys and volume buttons. Do you know that the volume rocker and the power key can do much more than controlling volumes and unlocking your devices? For instance, if you are in a meeting and receive an incoming call, you can quickly use the volume key to silent your phone. Not only just that, you can also use the volume key to snap a picture. This is useful for taking selfies with one hand. Similarly, you can also use the power buttons to end call, which is more convenient than tapping on the screen. But before you use it, make sure to enable this feature by going into your device settings. And finally, you can also troubleshoot your Android in safe mode. Yes, like computers, Android also have safe mode. To get there, press the power buttons once and hold the power option for 3 seconds. And there we go. Safe mode is on. From here, you can uninstall or delete a malicious program on your Android. To get out of safe mode, simply restart your device again. Tip number 3. Find your lost Android. If your device gets lost, then you can easily find it with this built-in feature. Simply head over to Android Device Manager from your computer and log in with the same Google account that you were using on your Android. Provided that your Android is still connected to the internet, you will be able to trace it on Google Maps. If it's lying somewhere near the house, then you can even give it a ring or lock it remotely. But let's say your Android gets stolen, then you will need its IMEI number before reporting it to the police. Traditionally, we find this number by dialing star hash 06 hash. But now that we don't have access to the device, how do we get this IMEI number? Well, no problem. Head over to Google settings and sign in with your Google account. Scroll down to the bottom of the page till you see the Android option there. Once you are there, expand it. You will see the list of all your Android devices with the list of IMEI number. Tip number 4. Android secret codes. You may have seen special codes which when dialed reveals some amazing things. Although some of these are not very useful, they are definitely fun to play with. So what are these secret codes? Let's find out. Dialing the following code will display important details like your handset information, battery statistics and network configuration etc. I often use it while checking out my friend's new android as this reveal information that otherwise cannot be found in device settings. Another similar one can be found in Google Hangout, but before you try that, make sure you have the latest version of Hangout. Type in the following keywords on Google Hangout and emoji will appear from the bottom of the screen. This is kind of cool and make the conversation interesting. And finally, you can also find Google Easter eggs hidden in Android. No, I am not talking about the Easter eggs hidden in the Android version. Instead, open up your Play Games app and navigate to the screen in the following pattern that is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. You will see a pop up window will open and then type in the pattern BA triangle. And you will notice a notification saying all your games now belong to us. 
although this is a simple notification that changes nothing but still you can use it to impress your friends tip number 5 make your android run faster now there is no doubt that chrome is the fastest browser for android however sometimes it can add sluggish but there is a small hidden feature that you can use to speed up your google chrome to do that head over to your chrome flags if you don't know what chrome flag are then basically there are some experimental features to improve your user experience now once you are there search for the keyword or scroll down till you see maximum tiles for interest area option and then update your ram to 512 or 256 mb the default is set to 128 after you relaunch the app you will experience better scrolling and navigation even in multiple tab browsing another thing that you can do is disable the launchers animation this feature is also hidden in developer option so if you don't see it then go to your about phones and tap on the build number 3 times now that you see the developer option open it and scroll down till you see windows animation scale turn it off or set it to 0.5x and you will notice a significant bump in your launcher speed similarly you can also boost your android speed by clearing the cache now i know that some of you may be thinking why delete the cache when they are only meant to speed things up well over time we download too many apps that we don't use anymore and their cache is also stored with the rest deleting the cache will give you back your internal storage and make your android run faster if you don't want to delete the entire cache then you can also delete the cache for individual app as well and finally if you have to go somewhere and want to charge your android asap then you can use tablet chargers instead of conventional phone chargers same goes true for ipads and iphones tablet chargers can supply two times the power of your traditional phone chargers which means that your phone will be charged in half of the time of what it normally takes but only use it in emergencies or it will affect your battery life Well this is all for now. I hope you find this video helpful. Apparently my most popular video has got around 1400 likes. So if you like this video then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's see if this video can cross 1400 likes. Also subscribe to this channel to see more awesome videos in future. Till then it's Nanal signing off and like always thanks for watching.